And then another night of heavy rains causing more flooding in the village of Whitesboro, who also uh, saw damage from last week's storm. The Whitesboro Fire Department and even the American Red Cross stepping in to help assist residents with evacuation. Shalon Stevens spoke with the village mayor, who says the CSK Bridge is the or the CSK Bridge is the bottleneck for flooding. She explains. After the Halloween storm of 2019, Village of Whitesboro officials implemented giving warning to residents about flooding so they could have enough time to evacuate. We decided that we would drive around with emergency vehicles and with their loudspeakers and announce that it was going to flood. Last Thursday night was the first time they had to do this, and now today. This morning around 5 a.m., the creek crested again. And again, the fire department did go out and warn people. And they, I don't know the numbers, but a lot of people went to the fire department. And the American Red Cross had the people, after they went to the fire department, go to the American Legion. Uh, or I think they were offered refreshment in bathrooms and all that. After last week's flood, the village of Whitesboro officials and members from the American Red Cross passed out cleaning kits provided by the Red Cross. If they were impacted by a flood, whether it had been Thursday's flood or this morning's flood, we will certainly give them out until we're out of them. And then when we're out of them, we will contact the Red Cross and get more of them. Freelander says residents cannot continue to be patient when it comes to buyouts and fixing the CSX bridge. They need help now. The buyout needs to speed up, but besides the buyout, CSX needs to take responsibility for that bridge that is a bottleneck. Above CSX, the state of New York, the governor said back in 2019, I believe, when he met at one of our local businesses, that he was going to put his lawyers on it, that he was going to get us answers, that he was going to pressure to give, give some solution to our residents. Freelander says residents need answers now because another flood will happen. In Whitesboro, Shalon Stevens, Eyewitness News.